Hey there, YouTubers. This is Don from True Cable coming back at you again, uh, this time with unshielded punch down keystone jacks. Uh, in this particular case, I thought we would do a change of pace. Um, we've done the toolless kinds already. Uh, however, I thought maybe we would show you the punch down and Cat 5e, which I haven't even demonstrated up until now. So, uh, this is a 24 piece pack, and they do come in multiple pack sizes, and they come in Cat 5e, Cat 6, and Cat 6a. And let's take a look inside. We've got our nice fold out instruction sheet, which is color. And we've got all these nice looking jacks in here, along with IDC caps. All right, so before we actually terminate a Cat 5e unshielded cable to this uh, jack, I thought we would talk about one of the biggest features of our punch down keystones. And that is the, a mark of a high quality keystone is these sharpened points here uh, for breaking the wire pairs to get them into the slots without actually having to untwist them. And that means that allows you to get the last twist in the pair uh, right to the point of contact. Now it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes you have to untwist them, but more often than not, it does work that way. And that is a big advantage when terminating one of these jacks for maximum performance. So let's give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna be terminating a Cat 5e unshielded cable. Uh, this is uh, plenum style, and uh, it does not have a spline on the inside. It's just got your four twisted pairs and a rip cord. I never make use of the rip cord, so what I will do is make use of our multi stripper to get a good score on the cable jacket. You don't want to actually cut through it uh, and accidentally nick a conductor, uh, which is even more important with Cat 5e because the conductors tend to be thinner and a little more fragile. So, what I do is I roll it like this to get it as circular as I can because. Believe it or not, a spline adds more work, but it actually makes the cable more circular. In the case of Cat 5e, though, it's not as circular as it should be, but well, it's plastic after all. Raise your blade on your tool all the way up, put a couple of inches through, and then lower it down until it just makes you know firm contact with the cable jacket. And then turn once or twice, and then you've got a nice score on there. See that score? It's going to start popping. You can actually hear it pop. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And then pull off. Keep your little cable jacket around. You might need it to untwist a pair. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get this right if all the moons line up right for me. Uh, then we, the next step is to actually take off this uh, rip cord because we don't need it. Flush cut it right at the uh, cable jacket. And then before you uh, start working with the jack, it's important to check those conductors here at the cable jacket edge to make certain you didn't accidentally nick one. And you'll, you'll be able to tell. You'll see a little cut there, maybe some copper glinting, and that's no good. So the next step is to actually take your jack, and we're going to be again working with the B sequence. Now in this particular jack's case, uh, the B sequence is going to be with the green and the blue pairs uh, first. Uh, they're going to be towards the RJ45 part our RJ45 port part. So when I say uh, at the, you know, first or at the, or, or, or forward, I'm referring to towards this port. So the side here is green and this side is blue. So take a look at your cable and organize it in such a way that it makes it simpler on you to actually terminate your jack. So in, you, in this case, you can see that doesn't. So we turn the cable over and then that does. There we go. So now, the green with the green, the blue with the blue, and we can start uh, threading these guys through. Do not accidentally put the cable jacket into this channel. If you do, you're gonna make it difficult, if not impossible, to actually properly punch it down. So make sure the cable jacket stays uh, either even with or just a little bit offset from the back of the jack. It's often gonna depend on where the pairs fall. So in the case of our jacks, the striped pair is always forward or first. So we put the green pair in first and there we go. And as you can see, the cable jacket did not go in that channel. That's what we want. And in the case of the blue pair, the stripe is first or this way. And then you've got the solid going uh, towards the rear of the jack. And there we go. We've got that threaded through. See how we're using the point here to break those pairs? And then on this side of the jack, we've got our brown. Again, we want the solid 
brown in the rearmost slot, and then uh, just ahead of it, we want the striped brown. So we'll use that point and break it. And there we go. And in the case of the orange, we've got the same thing going on. All the moons lined up properly for me. This guy is a little bit tighter twisted here on this orange pair, so we'll finagle it a little bit. But the major advantage is we don't actually have to untwist it, which is kind of nice. And there we go. All ready to punch down. Now, before you actually go punching it down, though, it, it uh, makes a lot of sense to actually make certain that the wires are in the proper spots. So, uh, again, stripe blue, blue, stripe orange, orange, stripe green, green, stripe brown, brown. And they are correct. So it's ready to punch down. The quickest way to go about punching down one of these jacks is to actually make use of our true term uh, speed termination tool. And this makes uh, very, very, very short work of one of these jacks. Simply open up the tool and put the RJ45 part, or RJ45 port part in first, like so, and then close it. Open it, lock it, done. All you, gotta put, all you have to do now is put on this little IDC cap. Now, before you actually do that, though, it's always a good idea to double check what you're, what you're doing. So make sure all these wires are actually seated all the way at the bottoms of the channels, and they are, and that they're flush cut off, and they are. So this cap only goes on one way. Just snap it on just like this, and that's it. Ready to go. If you need to take the cap off, it's easy to do. You just simply squeeze these two tabs and then pull it off. If you should make a mistake, you can re-terminate it, then put your cap back on. Now I can put it into a wall plate and then go ahead and plug in a patch cable. But we're also gonna talk about how to actually use a manual punch tool also. All right, so the second way of terminating a punch down keystone jack is to literally do just that, punch down. This is a 110 punch down tool and True Cable sells one of these guys. Uh, it's got uh, two settings, low and high on it. Low is uh, it's what it's set to right now, and that's for 24 AWG conductors like you will find inside or for the uh, CAT 5E wires. Those are 24 AWG. And then uh, for CAT 6 and 6A, you're going to often find that you're going to need to use more force. So you set it to high because those are using two, uh, thicker 23 AWG conductors. The other item is that the blade is reversible, but make sure you're using the end that has the punch down along with this cutting edge right here. And this cutting edge is meant to go like so, so that it is punching down and then cutting off the conductor after every one that you punch. Uh, something that'll make your life a lot simpler is to use our uh, True Puck handheld termination aid. And you simply put the jack in like this and snap it in and then start punching down. Uh, start with a striped color and a stripe solid, then stripe solid, and so on. And then you basically will make eight individual punches. Take the jack out of the tool, and there you go. The next step is to make certain that all of the conductors are fully seated, and they are, and that they're all flush cut off. The next step is quite simple. Just put on that plastic uh, IDC cap like we did before, and you're all ready to go, just like so. All right, so that pretty well covers it. If uh, you liked our how-to video here, please give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and enjoyed having you for this session and look forward to seeing you again. Happy networking.